don't you go uh, lay down a big old fat one and then eat it? Hmm? <laughs> you ever thought about that? You ever you ever thought about dropping a big old fatty and then uh, turning around, putting your nose against it and being like, hmm, that's some gourmet shit. Who did this? Did you do that? You don't do that in the house. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I like it when it's frozen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're back. Going downstairs. Welcome back. I'm going to preemptively say this is the finale. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you bashed my head on that. Oh, man. That's what would have happened. <laughs> Tell me they're using Happy as a sex slave. And every time they do, they're just like... <sighs> Just disappointment and disdain. <laughs> Actually, not even. Oh. I bet, I bet she has lost her muscles because if it's been months that they've had her, she is probably not the strongest anymore. I doubt they let her keep uh, work twerking out. <laughs> I gotta keep my pump on. Oh shit! Oh yeah, see they got, it's a police armor. Police! It's a police armor. <clears throat> I like how the prisoners were at the ready. Yeah. For that scenario. Trying to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. Okay. She's probably already dead. One can only hope. Mm -hmm. Cause she's my love. My, my love. love. My love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me the pillars are where they crucify people. Basically. Nice. <laughs> when you get down there, always look on the bright, bright side, side of life. <laughs> <laughs> always look on the light side of life. Because <laughs> Abby's a piece of shit and when you look at it. And I don't give a damn how you feel. I like the lighting here. It's all moody and spooky. It kind of reminds me, I wonder if they did this intentionally. This part kind of reminds me of like the aquarium sort of. Mm, like the way the, lighting, the way yeah. that the, the lighting is and like kind of like the atmosphere of it. It kind of, it almost feels like the aquarium sort of. Like more when you're inside, not really now, but I wonder if they did that on purpose. Wow, who knew that like five prisoners could cause so much havoc? They do got the guns. Ah, <laughs> uh, but all right. Oh my! Oh no! I'm sure everyone's fine. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's all right. Yeah, that's fine. They're gonna they're gonna talk it out. <laughs> that seems like a thing they're gonna do. Let me, let me start hustling. Uh, Ooh, so uh, oh my. What a big boy. <laughs> Not so much that one. <laughs> holy moly. Oh my on the holy side of life. We woo, we woo, we woo, we woo. Always look on the holy side. Oh, you didn't fall for that fucking fake ass uh, braid they had hanging there. <laughs> you knew better, huh? Yeah, no, I ain't no bitch. If I were Abby, I'd be like, oh, God damn it. I'm lost. 
scarify you, bitch. I'm just gonna cut you a thousand times smally. Small. Do a bunch of tiny cuts. Well, you're right. She's not so uh, bulky anymore. <laughs> yeah. They're, they weren't gonna let her. You know what the funny thing is too is like I think she looks I think she looks better with the shorter hair than fucking Mel did. Yeah. <laughs> and she's all malnourished and sunburnt and tore up and shit. I think she looks better than fucking She's like Cersei from Game of Thrones kinda. Yeah, yeah, actually. You know you see what I mean? She would have been so much better if she didn't have that stupid braid. I would have liked her like a thousand times more. Kinda like uh what's her face, Anna from Metro. Yeah. So, as soon as she has the short hair, I'm like, I like you like a, a million times more. <laughs> oh, come on, Ellie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I look professional in front of her, you know? Like the malnourished girl who was tied up to a post for hours, probably, uh, was able to get up that while carrying a person. Mm -hmm. And you just got a, you got a stitch in your side. Yeah. And you got shot and bit and pushed around and burnt, kicked and burned. 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 And, yeah. and some guy hit you with an axe. <laughs> instead of killing Yeah, but Abby him. took fucking several axes to the face and died. <laughs> <Yeah>. Multiple times. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> this water is suspiciously shallow. Too shallow. Stingrays. <laughs> That's what kills both of them. <laughs> Steve Irwin style. It just leaps out of the water and just. <laughs> At the same time. And then, and then they, they make the crucial mistake yeah. of pulling the stinger. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> Sorry, Steve Irwin. Rip in peace, buddy. We all miss you. Rip it and dip it in peace, dog. How can Steve Irwin be our president? <laughs> Even though he's dead, I still want him to be president. Yeah, of course. He'd do a better job. Oh. She's remembering. Yeah, I must murder. She's... I cannot just help. Yeah. I'm not finished with you. She's taking her sweet ass time getting this boat going. Yeah. I can't let you leave. Not without a fight. <laughs> I wonder what the like if she's actually doing anything with the rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's probably just making her hands look busy. No. Oh yeah, man. It's not your fucking choice. This is like my favorite version of Abby. Like, no joke. I like Abby the most in, at the end of the game. Yes, she will. He's not a part of this. So that's why they made you play as Abby the, in that other fight. So you can play as Ellie this time. I can kick the shit. Yeah. Oh, struggle, bitch. The animations in this are so good. Fuck. That's what I said, Abby. Fuck. You automatically have the advantage because you have a knife. Yeah. And she doesn't. And she does not have the strength to successfully block these. Nope. I'm gonna cut you, bitch. I'm gonna cut you like you did, Joel. I'm gonna cut you like a turkey. You are a jive turkey, bitch. Good job, bitch, turkey. 
Imagine if you made it to this point in the game with Ellie's arm going shuffling. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you like a pig. I'm gonna cut on the face, that's cool. Oh, that's gonna be a hurt lung. Oh, my knife! How am I gonna find it in here? How am I gonna win now? <laughs> it's just a, just, this just goes to show how fucking weak Ellie is in comparison to Abby because you can only malnourished. Yeah, Abby. she can only win when they're both severely wounded and or malnourished and not at peak performance. <laughs> I remember I think when I got to this point I'm like how about we say like let's both go home, both get some food in us, kind of like, you know, build everything back up and then we fight. <laughs> let's both get back to 100% and then fight. Wouldn't be nearly as cool though. Yeah, no. Wouldn't be as desperate. Yeah, that's kind of what makes this part cool. Ow! Whoa! No lunger. Scared me. Remember at this point too, I said I'm like Lev's gonna fucking shoot Ellie or something. Because like if you look in in the boat, like Lev's not there. And nothing like that happens. It did. Lev tries to shoot Ellie, but then misses and accidentally hits her. Yeah. Oh, my pinky! Oh! You can see the fingers fall out. That's yeah. fucking gross. You should have put her like you throw throwing her over like a oh uh, what you call it uh, a Ferris wheel or something. You know, should have done get that height. Should have done a backbreaker. Like pick her up and then break her over your knee. How much pain do you fucking be in through all this shit? Like, you got a hole in your side, you got missing fingers now. At least take a bath, at least. Damn. Yeah, you think rolling around in all that water would have fucking cleaned her up a little bit, but. Yeah. Nope. Well, Abby's pretty cut the fuck up. Yeah, right. Got a, got a, probably a hole in her lung. <laughs> yeah, right. No kidding hole in her shoulder, a couple slices up on her arms and shit. No, you know what? Come back. Come back. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> Come back. He gets in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> slow, slow motion boat chase. I, I, I like that ending fight, though. It's kind of got a Metal Gear Solid 4 quality to it. You know what sucks now? She can't play guitar. I know. I would be devastated if that happened to me. She still that, got tr that, that tree's dead. She still got that space pin, though, from when Joel gave it to her. That tree's fucking dead. You know what that means. Dino Spumoni's not here. I mean, the house looks pretty abandoned, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it was kind of abandoned before, too, but, you know. Yeah, but now it looks... Super abandoned. Like, you know, unkempt. More so than it did before. And the windows open up there, so. Yeah, no, that's just rude. <sighs> like, what if there's bugs in here now? That's probably a fuck ton of bugs.
She she took the fine china. You doing laundry? Where you at? Dino. Dino Spamoni. You left the windows open. Oh, good. She left my shit. Good. She did leave the music. Oh, but she liked this one. <laughs> Artless hack. Who? Dino. Dino's? Ooh, yeah, art. she liked that one. Oh. What? Well, she did say she had a low bar, so. Yeah. So the only reason I came back. I just really like this guitar. Yeah. Nice. I think I know what it was. It's Future Days by Pearl Jam. Oh, come on. You can get that nub on that tiny one. You can still fret that stuff and make it sound... I mean, you can't get the full voiced chord with just two fingers, but... Yeah. She wasn't even fingering it right. Yeah, she wasn't even fucking trying. No. You think for... I think for you know, I mean, she's like, kind of sad. A lesbian, she's kind of sad. Though. She'd be no how to finger. You'd think so. <laughs> what up? Telling you, being a guitar player in the post-apocalypse would suck. Yeah. It would be terrible, because you wouldn't be able to get new strings. Unless you, you found them. You'd run out, yeah, even if you found a ton, you'd run out eventually. Coffee. Why are you drinking the coffee late at night? You dumb bitch. Would you that? None of your fucking business. Uh, those people that came through last week. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but not bad. What'd you trade? My liver. <laughs> Two children. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Cheers, Pomoni. No, she, that was just one kiss. It didn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did Like, you do like her. Yeah, I do. But I didn't know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. Ooh. Like me arranged. Your life would fucking matter. But you took that from me. Talking about women. If somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment, I 
I would do it all over again. Fuck yeah, Joel, double down. Yeah. Triple down. Mm hmm. You will. When my knee is blown out, try. and I'm laying on the floor, breathing my last breath in my own bed. She would like to try, Billy. She would like to try to forgive him. Well, when his knees are all blown out and he's laying on the it's floor. It's only the one knee, okay? No, I'm, just, I'm saying like he's predicting his future. Oh. But in a nice wholesome <laughs> way. Like, oh, my knees are blown out because like, you know, I've been doing it forever and yeah. I'm old and I'm lying down in my own bed. My knees are blown out because I play too much golf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, I'm there and I'm like, ah, Ellie. Uh, and then I die, like, you know, and we're surrounded by people. Some of them we don't know. One of them we do. And, like, I die, and it's all nice and peaceful, and you, you, have, you live a happy life with all your fingers. With Dino Spumoni and that baby that's in her tummy. Uh, Wait, how do you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> she told you? <laughs> she hasn't told me anything. <laughs> yeah, me and her, <laughs> me and Dino are pretty close. <laughs> you know, when, earlier when I said whatever her intentions are, I know what her intentions are. <laughs> uh, she's leaving Joel behind. Yeah. Why would she do that? He was the coolest. It's probably also because, you know, you shouldn't bring a guitar. It's not, it's not a necessity. I mean, sure, it's a very nice. Why is the headstock all fucking beat up? Because he probably like, you know, found it that way. Mm. Couldn't refurbish it. Is it is that a Taylor made guitar? Mm -hmm. Why'd you make remember, that guitar? I don't remember it being beat up though. It's weird. Did you make that guitar? No. Why'd you put a firefly on it? I didn't. That's a, that's, a that's kind of an odd guitar for him for him to find somewhere, don't you think? Yeah. Probably would have found like a like Gibson or something like that. Well, he probably could find a tailor made one, but um, you know, I mean, but a custom be... one like with a custom inlay like that, yeah, that'd be kind of weird. Whatever, it's not the point. <laughs> All right, so uh, so yeah, so Ellie gave up everything for revenge, mm -hmm. and now she must live alone as a drifter. Um. So that's actually one of the things I was going to bring up at the end because I didn't notice it the first time. I don't know if you r realized it or recognized it. Because um, the first time when you play through the ending, it seems pretty hopeless, seems pretty bleak. Like mm -hmm. there's really not a lot of hope or anything. Mm -hmm. um, you probably didn't notice it because it's such a small detail. And I completely had forgotten about this by the time we had gotten to the end of the game. But there is one point earlier in the game when Dina gives you that little blue bracelet thing yeah i told you like pay attention to it in that flashback yeah in that ending scene ellie's wearing it again so you can imply or at least infer that she has reconciled with dina um that she's like kind of made you know made amends with her you can kind of make that uh i'm assuming inference. that so it, before she came back up here Dino probably moved back to Jackson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she probably stopped at Jackson and was like, Hey, Dino Spamoni, I'm sorry that I left you. I am yes. back. Yes. But they don't ever bring attention to it, which I think is the right way to <sighs> yeah. go about it. Because this is more, you know, about Ellie and mm -hmm. the whole Joel thing and, you know, closing that door. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then, and that's obviously what is represented by her leaving the guitar there and all that. And then she's like... She comes back and she's just like, you know, I'm back. I'm sorry that I, mm -hmm. I scissored and left. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm back. Hey, JJ. 
And Joel Jr., you know it's Jesse Jr., you don't come. <laughs> and then they make out. So, yeah, I, I didn't realize that the On first Joel's time. On grave. Because they, they, um, the whole bracelet thing is a really small detail in itself, even, like, without that ending scene. Like, the I, only like thing is, I said, I completely forgot about it until... Was she wearing it? Dina was wearing it in the, the scene where they're dancing and they kiss and all that. Yeah, but was she wearing it when she left? Um, like, if we Ellie? look back... Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. No. If we look back at that, I don't think she was. No. Was she wearing it before she left? Like she took it to remind herself of her? I don't remember. I don't think so. I didn't see it during like the fight or anything, but yeah, you would have seen it in the fight. I don't think she had it on during the fight. So, not enough Joel. Eight out of ten. Not enough Joel. Okay. Is that your serious score? Yes. Okay. 8 out of 10, not enough Joel. If it was a, my fake score, I would say like 3 out of 10, <laughs> not enough score. Joel. <laughs> I, um, after giving it time, I think initially I had settled on like a 9. And I feel like for me it's still there. I think it's for me it's a 9 out of 10. Uh, it didn't really bother me. Like, I think it, it bothered me a little bit that Joel wasn't in it as much. Like, I would have, I wanted to see more of him, but yeah. it didn't bother me that he wasn't as in it. You I know? feel like it would just be a little more impactful if he was, because, you know, most people probably didn't replay The Last of Us and then did this. Yeah. I'm sure it hits a lot harder if you played The Last of Us first. Mm -hmm. And then played this after it would yeah. hit a lot harder. Yeah, but most of us probably haven't. It's been multiple years. I don't think I played it before I played this. I don't remember. I don't think you did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, if you played this, it, it just seems so abrupt. Like he just is gone immediately. Mm. Yeah. It would have been nicer to have him maybe not halfway through the game. Yeah. But like one third maybe. There's and a, he was probably one, like, eighth. Yeah, there was... I've seen some people online say how they would have liked, ha, liked to have seen the story pan out differently. And some of it sounds interesting, but it's like, I don't know how well it would work as a game. And I think that's ultimately the reason why they went with the story in the way that they did. Is because, I remember, I think somebody had said, or like, my... Like, I think somebody had said something like, um... I don't know, like jo or like Ellie and, and Abby meet under different circumstances or something. Um, I, I think it would have been kind of interesting, like to see how it would have panned out if, like, yeah, Ellie and Abby were like somehow ran into each other, like you know how she did with Abby met Joel at the beginning, like just kind of like out like on a patrol type thing, yeah. and there's like infected. I think it would have been interesting if maybe Abby and Ellie met that way, and then Abby like you know seeks refuge in Jackson or something. And then she realizes, oh shit, Joel is here. So now she's kind of like, you could really get that whole WLF, like wolf in sheep's clothing kind of idea. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, it would have been interesting. I'm not saying that's how they would have, they should have done it because how do you make that into a game then? You know? Yeah, true. Like with, cause then all of a sudden, like, you know, if you wanted to expand to that kind of. You uh, play uh, Abby a lot earlier. Yeah, like a lot longer you, for a lot earlier. But like to exp like you'd have to spend some time probably expanding the relationship between Abby and Ellie and whatnot. And I think that would have been interesting just for the sake that there's more personal. Yeah, feud it's not between just the two, it's know? not just like seeking revenge. Yeah, you know, yeah, it would be seeking revenge along with betrayal. Yeah, like oh, you're actually not too bad of a person. Yeah, like they kind of. And then know, Abby's just yeah. like. Like they get to know each other at least a little bit before having to like you know yeah go through that shit like I don't know, it's you know I I'm not disappointed with how they did the story but I can see how some people would would say that like you know they would have liked to have seen it go a different way and I can understand that because I at the end of the day I'm kind of with you too in the sense that you play as Abby a fuck ton in the game yeah it, like pretty much it almost seemed like you played as Abby more yeah than Ellie yeah. Maybe because her parts were more drawn out, less Maybe. interesting. Maybe. I mean, but she did have some better moments, like fighting that big old... The Rat King. Yeah. I think, I feel like there's a... I feel like ultimately it is pretty even split between the two characters, like how much you play of each. It does feel like you play as Abby a lot more, though I think just because you're kind of anticipating 
you're waiting to get back to Ellie. Yeah, you know? I don't. I'm not sure if it was just like the pacing of it was more. Bleh. Yeah, because it just kind of feels like you're building up to something, and then you have to like here. Here's how the wave goes. It goes fucking, you know, you're doing, and then, oh god, Joel died! And then you come back down. Actually, you're kind of riding that yeah. as you're coming back down and things are happening, so you're starting to come back up. And then you fucking, whoosh, Yeah, nose died. And then you're just... Yeah, just go okay. straight down back to... And then you just kind of stay that way. You get little peaks here and there with Abby. Yeah. And then you finally get meet Ellie and it goes back up. And then it goes back down, and then it goes back up, and it's just like yeah, a yeah. There's a big like area there, because because that's the thing with like Abby's like story, is that it doesn't feel like there's as much stuff of consequence yeah. that matters as much because it's just, half of her time is like going to get medical supplies for Yara who ends up dying anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. I think sometimes, like, the way that I kind of look at it is, like, the story suffers just because it's a game, you know? Like, they have to make a game around the story, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, I'm sure if they did it a little bit differently, they could have done a little better on it. Yeah. That's not, like, I, maybe you can kind of see where I'm at now, where, like, the story is still great, but it's just definitely, like, a step below the first game. Yeah. Because the first game was so much more concise... It was an easier story to tell because there wasn't as many characters in it and stuff, you know. Um, it just seemed more focused. But I yeah. mean, as soon as you make a sequel to a game like that, like the story's going to be a lot more complicated anyway. So, for what it was, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I liked it a lot. I still like to play the game just for the gameplay's sake. Yeah, the gameplay's fun. And um, you know, it's just like The Last of Us, but yeah, yeah. better, more refined. Yeah, and I and I still liked the story for what it was. Like, yeah, it's not you know perfect. No, obviously, like there's a lot of flaws in it. But so yeah, I was still I would say like The Last of Us one. Still like a 9.5. Oh, yeah. Out of 10, this I one's definitely that. like a high 7 to an 8. Yeah, that's fine. Like, not bad. I still, I put it in a 9 just because I like the quality is, is yeah, like... the quality is good. Is like bar none, like unmatched by so many other games, in my opinion. Really, the main problem is I just don't like Abby. Yeah, no, I can understand that. I don't really like her either. I so. have zero sympathy for her. I have... Zero wanting to have played her, and it, well, it just felt like I wanted to rush past her. Yeah, well, all that's, her stuff that's, to just play Ellie's. That's what drags the story down, though. Is just that yeah, like I think with a lot of people, it's not gonna, they're not gonna have that experience with with Abby as a character. Like they're not gonna, and like you kind of see what I mean. Like I don't think the game ever wanted you hundred percent to be on her side to like her as much as Ellie. But I think that they just want you to understand where she's coming from. Yeah, but I still don't care, though. That's the problem. No, I know. They didn't make me care. No, I know. About her. Because a lot of it, yeah, like, that whole f half of my time was spent getting medicine for a person who dies. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't care about these two Scar people. Yeah, that, that's kind of like the flimsiest part of her story, I think. Um, she tried to redeem herself. I think she tried to, like, yeah, self-redeem herself, kind of. And, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a mixed bag. It really is. Um, I don't know. I still like the game. I still think it's great. It's not perfect by any means, but oh. the story is definitely like the one aspect of the of it that's the most like that's gonna draw the most ire from people. Obviously, one out of ten. Tommy sucked. I think <laughs> I was expecting to play as fucking Tommy after after a point. I yeah. was like, you know, like when I'm like, give me a Tommy section. When, that's what uh, I thought. When Ellie's like, I'm the one you want. Like, I was expecting her to fucking capture Ellie and then I play as Tommy to go rescue her or something. Which would have been sweet, but... Yeah, I think the story could have been handled a lot differently were it not the fact that the game is a game. Yeah. Kind of like how, like, Death Stranding is, too. Like, Death Stranding, the story could have, like, could have been such a fine piece of material were it not for the fact that you have to play a game around it. Same thing as like Metal Gear, three, I know, or four. But the game, but those games were more gamey. Yes, they I'm are more saying, gamey. I'm just saying, like Death Stranding, you just walk around. Yeah. You know? Though Metal Gear Four was uh, 
definitely the most movie of the games. Oh, yeah. Which probably is actually my favorite of them. Yeah, because of the story. Yeah. But this, I'm just saying, like, you could handle a story like Last of Us 2, like, Walking Dead or something. Oh, yeah. Like, if they had handled it, like I had said earlier, where Abby is, like, you know, in Jackson pretending to be somebody she isn't, that would work great for a show. Yeah. For a game, it wouldn't work. Like, how could you make a, a game around that, you know? Like, you would have to be really drawn out or a lot of cutscenes or a lot of walking simulator type shits yeah. going on, you know? That or make new game mechanics, which you should not do. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It is what it is, man. I I had a good time with it. Um, the flashbacks were a little bit too much, in my opinion. Also, mm, too many Abby flashbacks. I like the Joel ones. Yeah, Abby. The Most Abby flashbacks nice. were like excessive after a point. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ! You need to have this one where she goes and talks to him for like five minutes, and you do the fucking target practice with the bow. I'm like, who gives a shit? You yeah. know, like some of that shit need to be trimmed out. Like, I was good with uh, uh, what you call it, um, like the museum one with Joel. That was good. Yeah, I like that one. But then it's like they do a repeat of, like, the, with the fucking aquarium. Yeah. It's like, you know, I get it, I get it. You know, it's one of those things that, like, I get it, but, you know, on subsequent playthroughs, I wish they had, you had the option to just skip those parts, but you can't. Um, also, missed opportunity. They should have had Joel. And, oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. We're good. Right as you're fucking saying it. Yeah. I'm like, missed opportunity should have had both. I'm, I'm blown away by Troy Baker's ability to sing as Joel. It's it's difficult, one, to just play a different character. And then, uh, you know, to then just be able to sing as that person. Yeah. Without breaking. He's got such a deep voice, too. Like, you look at Troy Baker and you would never think he would have that voice. Never. I'm going Pretty sure Troy Baker can actually play guitar too. He's an actual guitar player. Oh, nice. Yeah, he is, because he put out an album a few years ago. Troy Baker and the Bakerettes? Uh, no, I think it's called like Sitting in the Fire or something. Yeah, close enough. That was pretty close. It's not bad. It's well, not they a bad got album. content license from Taylor Guitars. Well, yeah, because it's a real brand. In the Smithsonian. Um, I remember reading too in a, like a pre-release interview or something like that, uh, Eddie Jerome Vetter did Future Days. See? Fucking Eddie Vetter from Pearl Jam did that song. Huh. Um, I remember seeing that Neil was talking about like how he was drafting up ideas for Last of Us 2, and he said that um, he pretty much knew the fate of Joel like after the first game, like almost immediately, because he's like, you know... I mean, it's, the, would, it's the trope of the old person right. from, you know, but to he, die. But he's like, you know, I wouldn't want to make a game where it's just more adventures with Ellie and Joel. Like, yeah. it really wouldn't have carried the same emotional weight that the rest of the game has, you know. And that's kind of what it's all about, is like the the emotion attached with everything that happens, you know. Like, so. I just find it to be a missed opportunity to not go into that nostalgia, because yeah. it would have hit so much harder yeah. if you went into that nostalgia, and then they're just like, and rip it away. Yeah, right. And now you're absolutely hating Abby. Yeah, because they... Maybe that. Maybe that's the reason why they didn't do it, though, is they didn't want everybody to hate Abby as much. Well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, they probably should have won with it, because uh, nobody liked her, really. Yeah. I'm not against her, like, being in the game or anything, but I, I agree. Like, I'm not really No, super she's crazy. a good antagonist. Yeah, she's a good antagonist. Because she is a piece of shit, <laughs> like, really, at the end of the day. Oh. So here's here's the other thing, real quick, by the way. No, no we're not out in the water. Um, we're not out in the water. So the implication here that I read about online afterwards is the fact that you remember on the radio, the Firefly had told Abby, come to this resort thing with the big round building. That's probably where she went. That, that's the implication that you're supposed to draw from this, is that that's actually Lev and Abby's boat, and they actually did find... The Firefly Outpost. Nice. So it's not as hopeless as it seems. Yeah. Though, at the same time, like, they they did say, you know, oh, it's the, the Circle Building, you know, blah, 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 you know, and then the resort yeah. that they go to has a Circle Building. And yeah. But at the same time, though, too, like, 
um, when she says that, um, like, like when they asked her questions, like yeah, who that, ran, that's who where... ran that facility, and then she says who she is. There, he's like almost like taken aback, like, well, how about that? Who's like it happens to be where the daughter of the person who, there? yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know. How did duty bow today? <sighs> so there you go, dude. Last of Us Part Two. Eight out of ten. Not enough Joel. That's okay. I I wanted to see more Joel too. I really did, but I really I, feel like it would have boosted it a bit more to get you a little bit more into it. Now, are you talking more Joel in like flashbacks or like? Yeah, like if you were playing with him playing as with a him. second person. Okay. Not you were still Ellie. You never break from him. They did that. Uh, they only did that. I think the one. No, twice they did yes, that. Twice. In the whole game. And they were yeah. very short. Yeah. One was, you know, the riding, and then Tommy was there. Yeah, when you're going to get the guitar strings, and then yeah. the other one is like, um, I'm saying I'm talking like even just in combat when you play as Abby, like at the beginning, and the horde is coming at you and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. I get it, but I almost feel like, I almost feel like the entire entirety of the Last of Us story, like left behind the first game and then this one it's obviously all centered around ellie in a way well yeah she you is know. the chosen one right and i understand like you know in the first game you play as joel but it's like it's still kind of the first game centers more about their relationship rather than just ellie but it's like now they gotta remake the old one with the combat mechanics of this one yeah right because it's a little, you know definitely a lot smoother oh the, like the gameplay is immaculate man it's great I wouldn't you mind get the same explosion you feel like I physics. wouldn't I wouldn't mind if they had like added like a couple new mechanics to the combat, you know. They I mean they added proning and tall grass and stuff. I think that's fine, but I, I just think like, you know, um, I don't know, maybe different kinds of traps or more environmental things. Like, you know Yeah, kinda like those tripwire explosive yeah. ones. But just even Instead having just like that um, one area. But just even having like, you know, like I said, environmental like if you could like Rig environmental traps or something. I don't know. I just think that'd be kind of interesting. You should spend all your points on the filters and shit. At 530. That's probably enough to buy all of them, honestly. Because <laughs> they're only five points a piece. Anyway, thank you all for sticking it out, whoever's watched this. Um, I'm glad that both Billy and I enjoyed the game, broadly speaking. Um, yeah. We each have our, our own kind of personal critiques, and um, but at least we both enjoyed it, right? Yeah. Like it was a fun game, fun experience. Billy, would you play it again? Yeah, I'd play it again. You play it again? Cool. Because I'm going to play it again also. I've already beaten it three times, but I'll probably <coughs> play it again more because I wanted to do the challenge mode type shit. I've probably played it twice. Twice? It's yep. a long game. They, it, it's a little needlessly long, but... It's fun. I like it. I think it's great. Uh, next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we're going to play... Uh, I don't know. What are we going to play next, Billy? Metal Gear Solid 3, 4, 8. We already played 3. Yeah, so, so 4. four. Okay, Metal Gear Solid 4 coming up next. Stay tuned. Maybe there will be episodes up by the time this episode goes up. Fuck you, whatever. 